and welcome back to my channel and as usual it's lovely lovely to welcome you back and to see you progressing with your weight loss journey today's video that last is cancelled because it's the queen's birthday <laughs> this is my birthday week and uh, Sunday Easter the 4th of April is my birthday and behold I'll be 39 <laughs> that's a lot right I was on the phone with Esther this afternoon and she's like I'm like mom do you realize my birthday is this Sunday she's like really <laughs> I lost track of time I said yeah mom so what age do you think am i she's like i don't know because i have to to calculate first so you have to tell me so i said mom i'll be 39 on sunday like this coming sunday so esther is like jesus i thought you were 30 something i'm like mom 39 is 30 something okay just give me a break <laughs> i thought i will tell you a little bit more about my weight loss transformation breakthrough like what inspired me or what drove me to start my weight loss journey it's really a very embarrassing moment though it's not really embarrassing but i i think i overreacted so my 35th birthday, my friend Sean Paul, he got me a, a scale for my birthday present. You know, yeah, I'm wrapping something in anticipation. You're like, oh, this is going to be this, this is going to be that, and kaboom! It's a bathroom scale, like a digital bathroom scale. That's like... Mother Earth, don't let me do this. Like, don't let me do this. Mother Earth. I was so mad. I I just flipped. It's like, how dare you call me fat? Why would you get me a bathroom scale on my birthday? Like, why? What are you trying to tell me? And I got, He couldn't even say a word because he, just, he didn't expect that reaction from me because he bought this out of his sincerity. He was sincere when he bought this. It's like my friend is always telling me about the weight loss, blah, blah, blah. So I think it would be ideal to get a scale. Thank God I'm not the, the type who smash things when they're angry because I didn't smash that scale but it's very fragile I actually didn't throw it away it's right here here's the scale I don't use it that much because I rely on my clothes and my mirror to tell me how gorgeous I am so one of the aspects that I don't do in weight loss journey is weigh myself. I don't, because I know sometimes I'm training vigorously, so I'm bound to gain muscles, which weigh more. So I wouldn't be bothered by weight. So if you are in a weight loss journey and you have combined exercises in your journey, don't be alarmed when you suddenly gain weight or you're stagnant. Sometimes it's just the muscles building up. We need muscle tissue to burn more calories. You should be happy. That's said the class is cancelled. Why am I talking about this? So what propelled me? I wouldn't say what inspired me because I wasn't inspired. I was challenged and propelled to take action. Because if this like comment is coming from a male perspective, he's telling me I am fat indirectly. That's what I felt like 
when he got me that skein i felt indirectly he was saying my friend you are too fat like this is going the wrong way you need to do something when i stood in front of mera the following morning and i was like i looked at this there the sad thing there and if all these the love handles Maybe I shouldn't call this right. Jesus Christ, look at this. <laughs> it was massive. And then that's when I got the wake up call. I was like, girl, stop being upset at the wrong individuals. Be upset at yourself for not doing anything about your weight. Because you can see like i could feel it in myself that i wasn't myself because uh, believe it or not i've always loved the beach i know i was born in a desert and grew up in a desert but just speak for themselves i've always loved the water life so wearing a bikini means a lot to me like for me on a very beautiful sunny day i would like to go to the beach and put on my the best bikini and just fly about you know feel good that's when i feel like yes i'm alive i'm happy to be alive and uh, i'm grateful so i i don't i don't want to be fat anymore like I, i'm not going there I would never ever like I promised myself that I'll never let myself go again ever. that's why in today's video make sure you click that uh, like button give this video a thumbs up and also if you are new here do subscribe to my channel and uh, click the notification bell so that you won't miss any videos that are coming in future and leave the comment in the comment section so that i know what else i need to discuss with you on this channel i started watching what i was eating because in the beginning it's not as easy as people think in the beginning you are going to have downfalls it's not like a you know when the baby is learning to to stand and walk it's the same they are going to have so many falls before they can get it right so as well i'm going to be sharing a very very interesting recipe it's very nutritious very filling yet so minimal like you literally don't have to cook because you can use all the stuff that you have in the fridge to build up this recipe it's a wrap like a tortilla wrap and it's beautiful so because the tortilla wrap that i usually see in the shops they have some of the ingredients that i don't in use in my lifestyle I prefer to use my own ingredients and make my own tortillas so I made my own tortilla and I hope you love it too and uh, you give it a try and let me know in the comment section what you think of it because it looks so nutritious so healthy and it's just out of this world the colors are popping as usual it's just spring everything about spring is about life life is becoming <laughs> i'm grateful to be born around spring and uh, i hope this video inspires you to take an inspired action you know there's action and there's inspired action inspired action is the one that leads to transformation just know that so when you are ready let's go to the kitchen this recipe calls for two cups of almond flour a cup of lukewarm water six tablespoons of silam husk 
a pinch of salt and one tablespoon of oil so you're going to start off by mixing the dry ingredients which is the almond flour the silam husk and uh, the salt and then you're going to nicely mix them until combined then you're going to add your oil and the water make sure the water is not too hot otherwise it's going to cook your mixture you're then going to start off by mixing with your spoon wooden spoon and then using your clean hand you're going to knead the dough knead several times until it forms a very nice consistency and it's a bit sticky so using a grease proof baking sheet I'm going to use it for rolling out the dough you can use a flowered board as well if you don't have the paper but it's easier if you have foil as well you can use the foil so because the mixture is a bit sticky I'm going to put another paper on top and roll out to make a wrap you can use a bottle if you don't have a rolling pin it turns out beautiful as well a wine bottle or any bottle which is smooth <laughs> a very important tip when I'm making the wraps make sure you don't overcook them otherwise they will break when you are trying to roll so you simply cook over low heat for two to three minutes and flip to the other side don't bend your tortillas like I, I bent my first one it's always <laughs> I'm not filming everything comes out so blissful but when I'm filming it's a total disaster so don't bend your tortillas otherwise they won't be rolling so in a greased pan you are going to transfer your tortilla the simplest way is to flip this into your hand like this and then you are going to transfer it to the pan using your clean hands and to turn the tortilla you need to use your hands as well because they are very flexy so i'm going to be using some bacon and egg jalapenos sun-dried tomatoes and some green pesto you can use any paste that you like really and then i'm going to also use kale and an avocado so i start off using the pesto but you can simply use butter to line up your wrap or tomato sauce if you are a fan of tomato sauce and then the kale you need to massage your kale before use i've mentioned this in my previous videos so you simply drizzle it with oil and uh, give it a good massage and then in goes our sun-dried tomatoes and uh, jalapenos which are very hot but i love them <laughs> then you're going to put the bacon you can actually use any ingredients that you like to put in your wrap you don't necessarily have to follow recipe to the core you have to be creative make your own so you're going to nicely roll this wrap that's why you don't have to overcook it so that it will be flexible when it's time to flip it and roll it into a roll and then you cut it in the middle it's kind of cute <laughs> for that picture perfect photo that's gorgeous the, the cross section is beautiful as you can see a lot of color popping and there you have your tortilla it's ready to be eaten and it looks so beautiful easy to make whatever you do don't bend your tortillas like me <laughs> who can pull that off like i mean you have seen how easy it is to prepare that wrap it's so simple it's so easy and effortless and minimalistic
like you don't have to sleep in the kitchen for that long and voila you are ready to eat so let me know in the comment section what you think of this recipe and if you are new here please do subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you won't miss any videos that are uploaded in the future and also do share this with your friends so that they know what popping so i hope this video inspires you to take action towards your weight loss journey and uh, do not be attacking people who are trying to help i know that people will be uh, always always looking to put you down and pull you down on your weight loss journey but there are genuinely people who are trying to help and those are the people you shouldn't attack them or show them the door just give them a chance like for me when Sean Paul bought me that scale I felt so disrespected I was humiliated I felt like wow this guy sees that I'm fat that such that he's able to even express it with a gift I was so offended honestly but Today's shout out is obvious, is to Sean Paul and thank you for the breakthrough. For me, this is just beautiful. Always loved being skinny and uh, flexing everything under my control. And then the illness happened and aging and everything fell apart. But I'm so grateful to have it back again and uh, defying aging i'm nearly 40 and people are still asking for my identity i'm like hello i am old so i hope you are going to also take an inspired action and do not be attacking everyone who comes to your corner to help you because i understand some people are coming to you to challenge you and just uh, intimidate you but some of them they are genuinely genuinely trying to help you and like in my case when sean paul bought me a scale he was literally trying to tell me girl you are fat and i took offense but you know when you are fat everything just kind of tick you off you are so sensitive and vulnerable and uh, just take time to process your feelings and in the end you'll see that okay this person is trying to help me and eventually you see your transformation as i have and uh, live happily ever after i'm so grateful that i took this journey and uh, i am so happy that you decided to join the transformation and uh, i'll see you in the next video this is me saying good night goodbye good day good morning and i'll see you in the next video i love you bye Doctor, you know.